This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Box and News, and I got a new news topic for you concerning Iris Landy Lara. Now, supposedly him and his camp and his team supposed to be in negotiations on fighting uh, a guy by the name of Yuri Foreman. I haven't saw Yuri Foreman in a long time, so I really don't know what to expect, but I can say this. Yuri Foreman was the kind of fighter before he sustained a freak accident injury and the Miguel Cotto fight in the seventh round. You know, he was all legs, you know, no punch. So, you know, I really don't see, I don't know whether really what to make of this. I know Lara's trying to keep busy or whatever, but he should do it with better opposition. You know, so if you're gonna, you know, I gotta call you out on the bullshit because Yuri Foreman hasn't fought but twice since 2013. Dude, we don't know what type of position, what, what type of condition he's in. First of all, you know, Yuri. I know Laura, he's always in shape because he's a gym rat, you know? So, I mean, I don't see what the challenge is. You know, Kodo has beat him, you know, and that was a weird for man that, it look, I laughed. That was the funniest shit, man, ever. When he do, he, when he fell the way he fell. Because I, because at first they thought he's like, he slipped over a, a, a camera or something that, that was in the ring, but dude, it was hilarious the way he fell and then, you could tell he was injured, but I can say this about Yuri Foreman. Even though it was some weird shit that went on in that in that fight, man. You know, because he was hurt, his knee was with his knee or leg was definitely was obviously injured. Okay, and then uh, Arthur McCanty Jr., the referee, he started. He decided to. Um, I mean. His for foreman's camp is his, his corner threw in the white towel. So Kodo was all congratulating himself and he's all cheering because he won the fight. But then Arthur McCanty Jr. was like, hell no, this fight is going to continue, you know, because it, it wasn't, you know, it's not up to the corner, it's up to the boxer. So, you know, and then Kodo hit him with that body shot. But without his legs, he was shot anyway. But I mean, he was pretty competitive anyway. I think Kodo would have beat him anyhow. Because he didn't have a punch for Kodo. So, you know, he gave Kodo nothing to worry about. And even after that, you could see the thin skin on Kodo. He was already swelling up. And, you know, I think that was like the 8th or ninth by the time they stopped it, you know. Um, but it showed that he does have heart because he didn't want to quit. You know what I mean? He he had no quit in him. So you can see, you can definitely say he's uh, he's not no, nowhere near the mentality of Nicholas Walters or somebody like that that just wants to quit. Yeah, I still ain't off Nicholas Walters. Anyway, you know, um, I see the fight being a mediocre fight. I have Laura winning, definitely, because it's a shit fight. You know, they pick a fight like that. You know, it just kind of reminds me of the, the Jan Shavek fight. Come on, man. Fight somebody that we don't know if he'll win. You know, I understand he fought um, um, Venus Rod Matarosian, and that was a pretty decent fight, and, and that was a high-risk fight. I get it, but don't mean that you should stop the opposition. You know, you don't get a pass just because you fought Moderosian. Because Moderosian, you know, has been beat by the best guys in the division. So he's really not like a creme de la creme. And if he has any kind of idea or any plans to fight Golovkin, he should go up and fight a middleweight. Not someone in that same weight class or whatever. I just want to see him, you know test itself just like I want to see Canelo and all those other guys because he believe it or not him and Canelo has they have unfinished business you know so if they're still doing and jiving themselves like him fighting Beefy Smith and stuff like that you can't get pissed off at Canelo if you can't get pissed off with Laura picking a guy like um Foreman you know what I mean because they're all based they're both on the same level and it's both to make the fighters look good or basically better than they really are and I'm tired of the shit you know the fight that we've seen between Ward and Kovalev, those are the type of fights that you should see a chess match because they're not going to just be able to unload a bunch of fight, a bunch of punches on an experienced guy. It doesn't work like that. That's why fights that are difficult to be scored are made simply because of the skill set. Canelo couldn't do what he normally did to Lara in there, and Lara vice versa. I mean, Lara did basically what Lara does, but he, but Lara didn't do what any of them did, like they did against Angulo. You know, they had a, they had a, they, Angulo's like a fucking punching bag. He was target practice, so you know, those guys couldn't do it to each other. So it wasn't a free fall, uh, rock 'em sock 'em robot fight because it was, it, you know, it was a fight between two skilled fighters. So skilled fighters 
regardless of how it looks, they should fight each other, you know? So that's what boxing should be about, legacy, you know? But I see Laura winning or whatever. Hopefully the fight doesn't get made because I don't, no one wants to see that shit. But anyway, that's just me informing you. This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News and you've been counterpunched. Peace.